How is everybody doing today? It's Carl here, and today we're doing another kind of different style video. It's that's not about cars, but we're going to be kind of making a custom gas tank rack for this welder here. So what I kind of am doing is I'm turning this Craftsman toolbox that I've had laying around forever. And I think I only paid like a hundred bucks for it several years ago, but we're going to kind of turn it into a welding cart, you know, since it has, has a couple drawers for tools and stuff, you know, you always need wire cutters to cut the feed wire and I'm going to upgrade the wheels on it. You know, let's get some nice polyurethane. And, but all I want to do is, you know, weld up a rack on the side here and then we'll have some supports underneath at an angle. And that should be strong enough to hold this tank. This isn't a full size gas tank. I mean, it is still pretty heavy, but um, you know, it's 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 still a little heavy. But um, but the the idea is to have two tanks sit on this because this is a C25 tank, and I think for aluminum you need just 100% argon. But don't quote me on that. I have no idea. Haven't got that far into research yet. You know, I've welded aluminum before, but I never really paid attention to what gas, you know, you were we were using because it was already all set up. So, but that's for later. I got it. I got the welder set up so we can do, you know, steel right now. So, and I'm pretty happy with it. But uh, yeah, if you guys are looking for a welder that's, you know, decently priced, not too expensive like Lincoln or Miller. And, you know, if you're looking for something that's affordable, definitely check out the Eastwood line. Um, this one's a little more expensive one because it, does, it can do TIG and MIG. And then if you buy the spool gun separately, you can do aluminum with it as well, which is nice. But, you know, we're just going to, you know, the only time we're going to be doing aluminum really is... Um, on my uh, bass boat that I'm building or, you know, welding on the dock or the boat lifts or, you know, stuff like small stuff like that, you know, where you're just fixing hairline cracks and stuff, you know, you're not going to be, we're not going to be doing a lot of heavy duty aluminum welding. So, but this machine was like a thousand bucks to do TIG and MIG and it's a, it's a 120, uh, 120 volts and two, 230 volt. So it can do either or. So you can go up to, if I, rem I think it was three eighths thick, which is pretty thick shit um, with this welder. That's obviously on the 230 setting. Um, yeah, three eighths, you can do three eighths, but obviously on the two, 230 volt setting. But for a thousand bucks, this welder, you know, I've welded a little bit with it already and I actually kind of like it. It actually welds pretty nice. Um, obviously that's personal preference, you know, some people are picky and like only Lincoln. Some are picky and like just Miller. You know, I it's all up to you, man. But you got to try different welders. But this one I seem to like. And it's, like I said, decently priced for the average person, not for like actual commercial stuff. So, you know, it, and this could be a knockoff of Lincoln or Miller. I don't even know. I haven't even researched it or anything. You know, it could be made in the same factory, just rebranded. I don't know. But... So let's uh let's get right into it and let's uh you know I got to grind some welds on this and then we're going to measure up some some uh angle iron here and we're going to try to make our supports and try to get this whole thing welded on and then what we're going to do after we get it all welded on I got some uh got some paint here some farm paint you know I don't really I'm not picky got some primer and some uh, red farm paint and we're just going to paint it up and call it a day and then maybe we'll go run and buy some some uh, polyurethane wheels and uh oh and we got to get a chain because for this gas tank that we can uh so we can secure this tank because you don't you want to secure these tanks because it's pretty much a missile if it falls over and that that uh the brass knob on top comes flying off so yeah it, it, you just made a missile if you if it knocks over and does that so yeah uh, i'm gonna get right into it all right so before i go any farther i just wanted to show you we kind of got our support brackets welded in and they're just sitting there right now because i i need to clean off some paint and so i can weld the rest of it on so 
what I'm going to be using to do that is we're just going to use a, uh, a Scotch-Brite kind of paint remover um, wheel thingy. And uh, I'm just going to go along, take off all that paint, and then the plan is I'm going to weld everything all the way across but kind of tack it in place because this is kind of just sheet metal. So you don't really want to get it too hot and you don't want to warp it. Um, and then pretty much down here, I'll just clean up everything and then we'll weld it all the way around and it should be pretty good to go, but we'll see. Here's an update, everybody. It is fully welded on. And as you can see, I had to stitch it all the way across because this stuff is, like I said, is like very, very thin sheet metal. It's like, it's like as thin as what's on a car. So you got it. The only way you can weld this on it's pretty much just stitch it all the way around but i have tested it before i finished stitching the bottom i mean i really didn't have to do any of this but i did because of my ocd so i did it all the way around so it is pretty pretty solid i mean it is a little little tippy like it's not like like when you put the tank on it won't just tip on its own but if if it had help it would but so what i'm going to do is I'm going to go shopping for some bigger wheels. And if I can, if I can get the casters more at an angle, you know, the bigger wheels sticking out more, that's going to help like significantly, I think. So I'm going to go run to the parts store and see what I can come up with. All right. So I went out and bought polyurethane wheels for the welding cart at the good old Harbor Freight. I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.